consider myself inherently good, but, <laughs> but I'm a totalitarian philosophically. I'm Madeline, and I'm kind of scared, but I kind of like it here. Hello there. Well, hmm. What to say? Mostly, people think of me as the friendly, happy-go-lucky boss slash father figure. I like to encourage that feeling. A good smack on the ass every once in a while. Two things about being uh, in a job like this. You hate it. You really hate it. One, you never do a job you get recruited for. Like the army. It sucks. Two, name tags. Nobody knows my name around here. No respect. I work my ass off. I steal souls. I do the jobs. You know, 18 hour days. Don't even know my name. What's that about? Oh, I didn't see you here. <laughs> I just started working here several days ago and I'm really excited. There's some very strange things and I think that it's wonderful that, that I'm working in a place that's, that's selling something so imaginative like a soul. I feel like I might be part of history in the making. It reminds me of when I was a little girl and I was in church. And I learned about souls and I thought to myself, isn't this totally marketable? Isn't it? Isn't it? Wonder if chicks are still gonna find me attractive, even if I have a little French adoptee. We'll find out. I bet if they're drunk enough, they won't really care. Yeah, if they're drunk enough. <laughs> My. My mom in back home, she sold me, which I guess was okay because she not let me stay up late very much. And now I knew mommy was gonna kill, but she does not let me call her mommy. Doesn't matter, girl, boy, dog, cat, just good smack. That's what my father always told me. You know, frankly, I, I really think. Dante's an idiot. I mean, three bags of Doritos for the soul of a child? I always thought we could do a lot better than that. I mean, come on, it's the soul, it's a child. What is a child but, but a virus or some sort of fungus that grows and wants and eats and shits and can't take care of itself? I mean, come on. But. Anyway, I hope that things will get better because the house we live in now, you know, it kind of, what, wheels. Yeah, that's what you call them. And um, it's a little funny, but I hope maybe we get someplace better soon. <sighs> Good smack set you right. But, you know, the funny thing is, the other day, I was sitting there having a cup of Tea, I think it was. Oh, I think it was Taylor Hardigan. Yes, of what type of tea didn't really matter. Point was, I was reading the paper while having my cup of tea. Anyways, I'm not really the devil. I just wear these to throw people off so they don't know that I'm the soul sucker that sucks souls out of the back of their neck. And, uh, that's about it. This hummingbird came around, you see. Well, I realized that hummingbirds are a metaphor, get this, a metaphor for shoes. Yeah. Well, I guess one of the most important things to ask yourself when you become a hack and slash minion is are people inherently good or on the other hand are people inherently bad hey what's up uh andre agassi 
Yeah, what is the price of the human soul? What is it worth? Um, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a towel on my head, I just got out of a wicked tennis game. I don't know no, what that has to do with anything. Normally. Yeah. But what is the price of a human soul? You know, I think, well, I mean, I am spending a life of servitude because I sold my soul for a great tennis game. I mean, not just a great tennis game, the best tennis game in the world. I just didn't understand, like, why Andre Agassi was in the scene. You know? So I try to do what's best for the majority, not what's best for a small group of people. I'm for the people, the big groups of people. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> okay. In conclusion, we will decide that we will be a combination of Trading souls, buying souls, selling souls, and <clears throat> no pornography. Dante, I thought we already discussed that there'd be no pornography. Why are you bringing this up now? I just want to make it very clear that I put that down. Put that down that now I said that there was no pornography. That Dante I wanted to make it clear that there was no pornography, and that is why I'm saying it over and over and again. You are rubbing pornography in my face. Let's just drop it. But um, if I was rubbing pornography in your face, there would be a lot <laughs> more going on with my hands. I have told you that this makes me uncomfortable and you keep talking about it. Can we just drop it? Fine. We'll discuss it over breakfast. Buying and trading and selling soap. Yes, yes, yes. Back to business. Back to business. What we do? Oh, uh, sir. First up on the chopping block, as they say, in some place I've never been. Let us get to the point. Oh, actually, next on the agenda was the price of a child's soul. We never actually came to mm. a conclusion on that. Well, we, we will be in between three bags of corn Doritos and five and a half corn Doritos. I can't believe that you're gonna... A child's soul is so much more precious than an adult soul. It's so pure. That's you're charging thousand dollars for a human soul and only a bag of Doritos for a child? Three. Four or five. We can't decide. <laughs> Me as a woman, I feel that we should have a much greater price on a child's soul. Why? And what should that cost? At least double that of a human being that's fully grown. They have no potential. Oh, They've already sinned. Oh, what? Three potatoes. Three potatoes. It shall be three potatoes. Actually, three potatoes for one child. You no, know, she does have a point. She is a woman, but she's not a child. I think we might actually benefit by bringing a child in here and seeing how much she's willing to take. Hmm. For the purchase of I think I see where you're going. And I thank you with all my grace and humility. So, now, uh, hold on. Was that? Was that not? What have I told you about that? Sorry, sir. <gasps> Alright, I'm here for my assignment. Soul Snatcher number 37. What we need from you today is one child. One child, one child only. Okay, from anywhere on the planet Earth? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. As long as it's pure. Okay. Right. Well, of course I'm the original sin of being born. Well, of it's course. I wasn't talking about that. Do I they mean, have we... to be evil? No. 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 You need to just be normal. You know, middle class, low class, rich class, and uh, underclass. You know, second class. Whatever. Dante. Are you not putting in that there's different kinds of religions and different kinds of soul prices? Heathens don't even have a price on their soul! Dante, you're not thinking this through! <laughs> I think that it is time for me to go to the bathroom. And while I'm in the bathroom, I would like to think that you are thinking about the tone of voice that you are using with me today. 
Mamma, thank you for taking me to the park. I'm so glad to go here. Go home, Mama. Why not? You are my mama. You are adopting me, I thought. I. You know what? When I said I wanted to adopt a little girl from France, the parents put her up for sale on the internet. <laughs> All right. My heart should be good. My, my main uh, inspiration, so to call it, for doing that was um, food stamps. Okay? So go play with the other kids. And um, okay, we'll have mac and cheese for dinner until the food stamps come in. Can we have right. some bologna again, too, please? And then what do you think I am, Rich? Okay. Buy those little flyers from the 99 cent store. I'm going to play with the kids. You are, I love them, Mom. I love them, too. Okay, I'm going to play now. God, you're ugly. <laughs> something that she knows you from before and you are cunt and she fuck yourself and she won't <laughs> carry a cigarette. You learned some new English words today, didn't you? I did. I think they're very nice. Hey, you know you're I've got a family. cigarette. Hey, grab that lady. Okay. I'm not a lady, that's right. Do you want a cigarette? Oh, excuse, excuse me, me sir. Madeline, Madeline is too. that your name? Madeline? What? I call her really Willa. All right. And oh, you are? My name's Madeline Nami. Okay. And I'm See, Betty. This is Madeline right here. Not one of those other kids, <coughs> Mrs. Madeline, right? Um, there was a word about cigarette smoking before you entered the um, uh, picture here with my daughter. Yes, I do actually have, actually have it's a payment you? system. Shut up. Uh, would you would you mind uh, if I traded a pack of cigarettes if I borrowed your daughter for a little bit? Where are you, some psycho and creep? You know no, what? I just I had something right over there I wanted to show her real quick. My new mommy got two cartons. I, I make balloon animals. I was gonna make her a balloon animal for a pack of cigarettes. I was just gonna work on my balloon animal skills and uh oh, you know what? I may not be educated, I may not have gone to community college, right? But I'm just gonna guys. put my cigarettes away then. So if you want us to go there together, I'm gonna lose my food stamp collector. Oh, uh, uh, actually no, I no oh my balloons, they're gone. Someone stole them. Right? That okay. Now I know we're lying. Yeah. I'm a smart one. I got street smart. I got the kind of smart. You, know, you can't buy. You can't pay. You can't go to Yale and uh, pay for this kind of intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Look at corn dogs, Dan. I love corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and Dante will call you back when he wants to call you back. Goodbye. Good Lord. I cannot believe the people have such nerve. I want my money back. This. I want my money back. That. Or with. Was that a phone call? Dante, it was another complaining customer saying that there's no actual purchase and they can't find their soul. <clears throat> well, next time, just explain to them that they couldn't find their soul before either. Who knows where their soul is? You know what? I don't know where my soul is. Dante, I'm an inspiring actress and I do not have to take this telecommunications job. Give me one more minute. One, one more minute. I'm almost finished. Robert, go, go, go back. Yes, yes. Talk, talk to him. I'll be out in one minute. I'm going to put my two weeks notice in. I don't need to deal with this bullshit. I can hear you. Just because I'm in the bathroom.
Well, who is these days? Alright, what's up next on the schedule? Well, still gone. How that would, would probably be... Who is it? It's the camera. It's the child. It's the small child. Child. Excellent. Bring them in. Okay, that, that, was, that was Hell's Kitchen. And this is this is the office. And uh, here's, here's the child. Um, so, uh, what do you mean you have a chair? Paydays. Yes. Pay, paydays on Friday? Uh, we switched it to every other Friday. Uh, it works better for accounting. That's fine. Uh, Alright, so I'll come back uh, on Friday. Excuse me, Dante. Enjoy your job. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Dante. <laughs>
followed you here, Madeline. How did you help? find this place? It's an unmarked building. I just said you can always smell the French. I oh. followed my oh. nose. I just just said Madeline. Madeline. What? Did you call her Madeline? That's my adopted daughter. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. I, I thought know. Madeline was a cookie. It is a cookie. Madeline! Alright? I'm sorry! There, I don't know who I have not had one of those in quite a while. Okay, now, well, you know what? There's a lot of things that are double, okay? Like poop. God, that is, that is true. I poop twice. Twice a day. Now, what I'm trying to say is sometimes you have a poop that comes out your ass, and sometimes you're just pooped. Tired. Okay? Okay. Now, I'm not who they're <laughs> quite understand that. You don't, don't worry about it. You know, you, you just keep, you keep your college education, kind of education, and I'll go back to the street and oh, do things like this. Oh, that? I'm a dropout. I assure you of that. I don't know what the fuck it is. I just made my point, though, and got him all confused. Okay. Um, lock the door, please. No, but do not lock the door, please. All right. Now, I may not look like much, but I have a lot. <laughs> Listen, what if we were to tell you... Wait. Hey! If you give us three potatoes, you can also give us your soul. Listen, bitch. I'm on food stamps. Okay? I don't even have to use one full food stamp to buy three potatoes. Alright, with this little girl in my hands, I'm getting double the food stamps I normally get when I was a uh, baptized. Order! Don't you love me? I don't love you, but... We gave you. What if we gave you? Alright, listen to this. What if we gave you? Not gone. Not gone. For an entire decade. How in the hell are you even gonna know how much gum she's gonna need for a decade? Oh, for it doesn't really? matter, I'm going to back out on this deal. Not so bad. Same as I get there. Dante, if you want to seal this deal, this is what you have to do. Watch. I'll give you $1,000 for your daughter's intangible soul. You got a calculator on you? Yes. I figured this out. So I'm getting about 50 bucks a month of food stamps for her. But what do you get for her soul? You don't use her soul. She doesn't use her soul. It's not even real. Well, let's assume she might be dead if she didn't have a soul in her, right? I a mean, good secretary just sits there, shuts the hell up, and looks pretty. It was at that moment that I knew I needed a new job career. These people were no longer able to be trusted. They were describing souls worth potatoes. Souls aren't worth anything. Souls that don't even exist, they're invisible, you can't smell them, you can't touch them, they can't hold them and cuddle them at the bed. And I know that I have a much better business deal and nobody listens to me because I'm a woman. And I'm gonna bite my tongue like women have done for centuries. And deal with the dick shit. <laughs> Alright. Thousand dollars? I'm only getting about six hundred dollars a year in food stamps, so if you want to give me a thousand, that's four hundred more than I'm already making. You can have a no, all, all we want is that to your soul. Well, explain to me how this little business works, because um, I never had a soul extraction uh, workshop, okay? Uh, just cut her a check and get her the fuck out of here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we cutting her a check when we could just be giving her food yes. stamps? Then who do you bring in? Because that's not the deal, huh? Uh, yeah, no, write her a check. Write her a check. check. $1,000. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm probably going to kill you, cut you up. I don't know what they're going to do. Minion. But... Hello, Minion. Minion, come in. Minion, come into the office. Minion, 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 minion. Bring your ass. Good luck. Bring the ass, Minion. Uh, can I see that check first? No. No, no, I You're taking it away from me. No, I'm not going to take it away from you. I just want to see and make sure that it was indeed I'll see it from here. No, I can't indeed. What the fuck is that minion? Okay, face.
Sounds productive. Big paycheck coming your way, my friend. Well, I hope I get at least several potatoes. <laughs> Did we a child soul snatching today? What? Pretty, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, a new, it's a new experiment they're trying out in, in the office. But... A child soul is precious. You can't just give a child soul away. Hey, they give the orders and I take them and they pay me and it's okay. I don't mind. You're a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, man? What's your I'm profession? killing women and children. They're gone. They don't have to walk the earth with no soul. <laughs> hey, I don't care, okay? I'll work this slave job just to get potatoes, man. I don't care, okay? I'm just surviving. I don't care if they take a child's soul. Just pay me a potato. You're ridiculous. First you're taking children's souls. You know what? Sooner or later you're gonna be a meter maid. Giving tickets every car that has a turn up. No, I, oh, that's just rude! Here we go. Who is it? Oh, it's Oh, shit! Thank you, Thanks, Minion! Thanks, guys! What took Thanks, you guys Mike. so long? Oh, Minion! 
What? Oh, this capped woman. Hello. This still did not Excuse me? my balloon. Excuse me? Uh, uh, no. God's sakes, Dante, let me have a moment with her. Without oh. you interrupting me. We're just trading beauty secrets. Try it, try it, girls. Try it away. Please. Let them have their moment and I'll kill her. He's completely crazy. He's gonna give you a thousand dollars if he can take your daughter's soul. There's no such thing. He doesn't know what he's doing. Well, they're hot. I've been working here for two days and I haven't seen a single soul leave. You know what? If, as far as I'm concerned, all you guys were loonies. Take the money. And you leave. don't. I'm, I got the money in my pocket. If you don't like this job, they're hiring at the lumberyard. I put a word in for you, Madeline. <laughs> your yeah. life was fucked up from the day I found your picture on the internet. I knew it. She's not a mother. She doesn't even. I already told you she's my adopted daughter. And I already told you you're not right. a mother. Oh my long. I'm an adopted mother. It's on paper. I know you should clean your little horns out so you can hear me better. I don't hear with my horns. Yeah. Ma'am, <laughs> uh, uh, I was, I was the soldier. Don't touch me. Okay. I don't trust you. Oh, okay. you don't need to touch me. Just stab her. Uh, and you know what? You, you do it your way. Okay. I'll do it my way. I'll take you all on. Okay. Uh, uh, Ma'am, I don't Okay, okay. That was just for fun. Okay. Okay? That was like to show you what I'm made of. Okay. Uh, again, let me just follow you outside. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. Don't Where's the waiting me. room? Right oh, back here. Oh, you want a cigarette? Right back uh, sure. You, yeah, no, well. Okay. Uh, here you go. Take out and kill her. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Finally. Dante! does exactly what I tell him. I love minions. They're wonderful. It takes a while for them to do what they tell them. Oh, God. I love it when they buy me do. So, Dante, shall we get on with it and smash the soul? Oh, uh, yes, yes, please. No, keep delay. No, no more delays. Snatch the soul, snatch away, please. Now what? Oh, uh, well, now you're going to experience some pain. I don't want to be here anymore. Alright, it's okay. The bathroom's working there, though. And now what you're about to find out is I'm actually not a devil. I'm a soul sucker. Oh. I suck souls. I eat them and spit them back out. No. Yeah. That sounds really silly. I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. All right, Dante. Go ahead. Uh, oils. What do I do? Thank you. 